What up folks, once again, it is your boy Tim with another ride sharing video. I wanna get some advice, particularly from my veteran drivers because this is a situation I suppose any of us could be faced with. As you see, I'm behind the wheel and in motion. So anytime I'm in motion, the videos are gonna be a little bit different. When I'm stationary, you're getting more of what the hell is going on in the world of ride sharing for us drivers. But when I'm in motion, I'm out taking trips. So right now they're offering earnings guarantees that are well to my liking. So I'm out here in motion. But I had a trip not long ago, earlier today, where, you know, you're driving alone and all of a sudden you get that weird ass feeling in your stomach. Bubble guts. I had bubble guts. I don't know if it was from the oatmeal and chocolate milk I had this morning or from some shit I had last night, no pun intended. But, you know, you you, you always wanna get prepared before you take your next trip. You know, make sure you got fuel in your vehicle, you don't need to stop or do anything, you don't wanna be um, having to interrupt the passenger's trip. And I often think about this African-American woman that I did a video on a, a couple months ago where a driver needed to stop for fuel. He was running out of gas and told the woman he needed to stop for gas and she went the fuck off on him. She went off like, you're not gonna stop on my dime to get fuel. And yeah, she really went off on him and the video went viral, I think. But I'm driving with a passenger and I got bubble guts. And I look at the device and it's showing me I got like eight, nine miles left. So I'm gonna have this person in the car for another 10 minutes or more and I got a shit right now. So, what the hell do you do when you need to take a dump and you still got eight, 10 miles left to go? Now, I understand nature, you want to stop. I'm trying my best to do what any of us drivers are do. I'm trying to hold my sphincter tight. Weird ass thing, the more you hold shit in, the more shit wants to get out. And if you don't let shit get out in form of a solid, it starts turning into a gas. Now, I'm a big stickler for somebody getting in my vehicle and stinking up the damn car. But I can't beat my own ass. So now, all of a sudden, what I need to do and what I'm trying to avoid doing is suddenly turning into flatulence. I'm, now I'm holding in farts as well as shit. So, you know, I'm looking at the passenger because... Like I said, you got your sphincter crimped up tight as hell. Trying not to shit or fart or what is in the middle of shitting and farting. Sharding. All of this stuff is a possibility. This sounds goofy as hell, but I'm telling you this was happening, right? So I'm sitting there, got to fart real bad now too. And so what you try to do, because you don't want to stink up the whole damn vehicle, you can't just start letting windows down because that would be a clear cut sign to the passenger. You up there doing some bullshit. So you start letting out these mini farts and hope that it doesn't stink. So you kind of letting them out in increments and shit like playing Morse code with your ass. Anyhow, it was the longest eight miles of my life. I mean, seriously, it was a long, it took me probably 15 minutes to do that eight miles. And when I got where I needed to be, <laughs> I could barely even get my pants down. I know this is a graphic ass story, but I'm asking because I want to know from you drivers, what do you do if you really got to go to the restroom? Because it is kind of irresponsible of you as a driver not to have your faculties in order when you pick somebody up. But some of the trips can be longer. I'm not one to generally do long trips. Like I said, it was only about eight or nine miles left to go when all of a sudden the body started saying, I need to get last night's dinner or whatever the hell it was out of me. But I don't know if the passenger caught a whiff of anything my ass was putting out. I didn't get a tip, I can tell you that much. But I don't know, because also I assume if a passenger wants to lodge a complaint, they can say that a vehicle was not smelling good. And you know, I try every damn thing I can do. I got colognes in here. I got the little car spray and shit. You, sp you spray it in the carpet on the ceiling so the car has a little new car smell and shit like that. But nothing can 
Nothing can mask active farts. This is not some something from 10, 20 minutes ago or, or last night. This is active odors coming out of your ass at that time. Nothing I could do. I know it sounds graphic. I'm sure some of you folks have had it happen, but what do you do? Would you tell the passenger I need you to stop and wait for me while I take a shit? That's not a urine. So you're not going to be in there for, you know, 10, 15 seconds. You might have to sit down and read the sports section, you know, but in my case, like I said, it was ready to go. It was seriously ready to go like the Navy SEALs on a mission. It jumped out of the helicopter right away. But what do you really do? I mean, shit, you, because, because of the way things are set up in the app, you cannot credit somebody any money back. Because if I was a taxi driver, I used to be a taxi driver being candid, I would have apologized to the passenger and probably gave him a discount on their ride. But the way things are going right now, you you know, with, with everything being done digitally and Uber has control of every damn thing, you don't have the ability to do that. So I don't want to go too long into this shitty ass story, no pun intended, but what would you do or what have you done when you suddenly got hit with the need to use the restroom while having a passenger in the vehicle mid-trip? Let your boy know in the comments. Hopefully, I don't come to you with no more shit like this in the future. It's your boy Tim. Subscribe to the channel. You know what we do here. Catch you in the next video.